All right, so in this episode, I want to show you how to install SAS in your Vue CLI project. SAS is a CSS preprocessor that makes writing CSS much, much easier, and I encourage you to read up on it. Okay, so we're going to start by installing Vue CLI. All right, now that Vue CLI is installed globally, I'm going to ensure that it is in fact installed globally by running view dash dash version. And I can see that I just installed view CLI version 2.1.1. And now I'm going to actually initialize a brand new project. And view CLI uses what are called templates. Uh, if you scroll down on the main readme for the project, you'll find that there are a host of templates which are supported out of the box. I like to use the Webpack template. It seems like it has the highest adoption rate. And we can start our new project by running view init. Give it the name of the template. And then give it the name of your project. So I'm going to call my project view project with SAS. And then I'm just going to follow the prompts all the way through, hitting enter each time. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to CD into my project. And then I'm going to run an npm install, just like the directions say. All right, now that npm has finished installing all of my dependencies, I'm going to pop open the project in my text editor and quickly verify that everything looks correct, which it does. So the last step is to run what's called the dev server. And I can do that by running npm run dev. And this spins up a little express server which will serve my app. And it'll be running on localhost 8080. So there we are. Next, we're going to install the SAS loader into our project. The SAS loader is in charge of taking in all of our SAS and converting it to CSS. And the SAS loader is simply what's called a Webpack loader. And a Webpack loader is just a loader built on top of Webpack that can import different types of files or modules and bundle them all together for our project. Here is the SAS loader on GitHub, and we'll follow the instructions for installing the SAS loader in our project. So we'll go ahead and copy this command here, kill our server over here on the left in our terminal, and then execute the npm install command. Now that the SAS loader is done installing, we are going to now configure our project to use that SAS loader. And I can do that by opening up this build directory here and modifying a file called webpack.base.conf.js. And I'm gonna give my editor a little more real estate. And I'm going to scroll down once I'm in this file to a key called module. And within module, I'm going to look for another property called loaders. And this is where I'm going to configure the SAS loader. What we've done here is tell Webpack to process any files or modules of this type, type SCSS, with these loaders, the style loader, the CSS loader, and the one we just installed called the SAS loader. So this will allow us to now author using either the SAS or the SCSS syntax from within our view files. So next we're going to open up source app.view. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete a bunch of the boilerplate HTML that Vue installs for you. And I'm going to delete the CSS boilerplate that it gives you as well. So we'll be left with just a template with a single div inside of it and our style tag. And let's go ahead and put in a little bit of base 
HTML that we can play around with. We'll put in a paragraph tag and we'll say styled with a little sass. And now the way to configure our view here to use sass is to put a lang attribute, lang equals scss. And this will allow us to use the, the non-white space sensitive uh, variant of sass. We'll give our body a blue background. Let's save it. And how'd we do? All right, so we don't have our dev server running because I killed it from a little bit ago. So let's go ahead and start it back up. npm run dev. And let me make sure that we're back. And we are, great. So now I wanna show you how to use the white space sensitive uh, version of SAS. As you can see, if I just try to do it without changing the language, I will get an error. But all I need to do is change it from SCSS to SAS, and now I'm good. Voila.